everyone welcome to jam kim now today we will learn about the determination of value or expression of a and beta present in the maxwell distribution equation and we will also see what is the graphical representation of maxwell distribution both in cases of velocity that is the speed in one direction particularly x y or z and the maxwell distribution equation for the speed now before starting this video if you have not watched kinetic theory of jet it will be helpful please subscribe to my channel for more videos now let us start today's topic now previously we have already obtained this expression for maxwell distribution now we will find the value of a and the beta present here now we know that the total number of molecules is obtained by summing the dnc which we have already seen in the previous discussion i will give the link in the description box for the derivation of maxwell distribution equation please do watch it now see this is the dnc over all possible values of c between 0 and infinity okay we are integrating this to get the all total numbers of molecules present in a container now the average kinetic energy is calculated by multiplying half mc square we know the formula for kinetic energy as half mv square so we obtain this by multiplying half mc square by number of molecules dnc whose kinetic energy is summing over all values of c and dividing by n so we are summing it over the whole values of n and dividing by n again so we get this type of equation for the average kinetic energy now we know this equation this is maxwell boltzmann distribution which we have already derived that is dnc equal to 4 pi n a cube e to the power minus bc square c square dc initially it was obtained right now replacing this dnc present here with the one present here we get this equation that is n equals to integration of infinity to 0 4 pi n a cube e to the power minus beta c square dc now we divide both sides with n so we get this one here it is 1 and here the n is gone now we know that from the table we will get the table this is a given value of integration we will see the table in our next video this is not much required for this video so i have not shown the table but the permanent value that is constant value of this integration is given here see this this one c square e to the power minus beta c square dc equals to pi to the power half 4 beta 3 by 2 this will be substituted in here to get the value now from here we get the value of a as a cube this one a cube equals to beta by pi root over 3 by 2 now in terms of beta we get the value now we will find out the value of beta now let us see we replace the dnc in equation 2 by the value of 3 we have seen this equation now here we substitute the value of dnc here with this value that is the value obtained from the maxwell distribution equation so we obtain this kind of thing now see this integration that is on evaluating this one and putting the value of a cube here we get this kind of integration this integration also has a constant value that is 3 pi half by 8 beta 5 by 2 so on substituting this value here we get this kind of expression and just putting the beta here and epsilon that is average kinetic energy downside of the right hand side we get the expression for beta now this average kinetic energy can be obtained by using a formula that is 3 by 2 r by na t which is equal to 3 by 2 kt we will derive this energy expression in the next video but till now whatever here it is taught take it as a constant value for this derivation because while deriving this one we don't require the energy expression derivation we only require the value of energy expression and the fa values of the integration which here it is shown is 
always given as a constant while told to derive the equation or derive the value of a and beta okay so when the question comes these values will be already given so that's why the requirement for knowing its constant value is not necessary now we put this value epsilon average epsilon here and we get the value of beta we substitute the value of beta in a cube and we obtain the value of a we have already obtained now the value of a and value of beta now on substituting this value of a and value of beta here we get the final maxwell equation in explicit form this is the most important thing in this case this is the final explicit impression okay now we will see the graphical representation of one dimensional velocity distribution equation okay now this is the one dimensional velocity distribution equation this is the velocity suppose we have already seen while deriving the maxwell equation in our previous video that the component of speed or component of velocity in the x direction was taken to be u so this is the x velocity component and this is the axis for velocity and this is the axis for probability distribution that is this factor is the probability distribution so now we just input it as this and we get this type of curve this extends up to the infinity this is plus infinity and this is minus infinity this goes on and this part this constant part is known as a that is the value which we have already obtained now we will see graphical representation on 1d velocity distribution equation at two different temperatures now see this one here this is the velocity axis again and there is two temperatures t2 is greater than t1 if the temperature is greater the value of a will be lesser okay so a2 is lesser than a1 we have to remember it and so the value comes below for probability this is the probability axis we know now this graph is going much above this is this one you have to remember here is a this graph is this one this is above whereas the one with low temperature is seen below that is this one this goes here so this is the probability distribution axis which determines the two probabilities in finding different temperatures now let us see our last and most important maxwell speed distribution curve now its in interpretation is highly important so please do watch seriously now this part we know this is known as the probability of finding molecule having a speed between c and c plus dc and the width of that range is dc we know that right previously derived in maxwell distribution equation roughly speaking this is the probability of finding a molecule with speed between c and c plus 1 meter per second square okay now meter per second okay because this is the speed so we take unit as meter second the curve is parabolic near here that is this part is parabolic and this part exponentially decays so this part of the graph that is the one here depends mainly on the part of c square factor present in the equation okay it is a dominant region of c square and here exponential function is about equal to unity and at higher values of c that is in this side we observe this part is dominant by exponential factor present in the maxwell distribution equation causing it to decrease rapidly in value as a consequence there is a contrasting behavior of two factors the product function has a maximum at speed cmp this two product that is exponential factor and the one c square has a maximum present here that is in this part this is the maximum or in this case this is the maximum and this is known as cmp maxwell 
most probable velocity or most probable speed that is we have already seen cmp in the previous video right now this is our most probable speed it corresponds to the maximum of the probability curve and can be calculated by differentiating the function on the equations present here so we will see how to derive the most probable velocity in our next video so this much for today thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe like and share